Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party unlicensed 1-6 scale figure unboxing and review. Today we are taking a look at the Toys Turbo Studio Two-Face from Batman Forever. Now I've never owned anything from Toys Turbo before so I'm more than just a little bit curious to see their first figure in hand. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. I have popped the link in the description below for your reference purposes only. This is by no means a promotional video, this is a review on a figure, an unlicensed unofficial one, that I picked up for my own personal collection. While you are down in the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. As for the box art, the overall construction here does feel a little bit cheap. You can see how the box is folded together, you can make out the various corrugated sections underneath the artwork, and the entire thing is super glossy. But it is their first figure, and as long as it protects the figure inside, the box really doesn't matter. Up top, Two-Face, Batman, Forever and Harvey Dent. Slightly risque using official names, but they have. Front and centre, an image of Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face, and in the background, an ominous red bat signal. On the side of the box, Toys Turbo Studio, and down below, TTS-01. Like I've said a couple of times, their first figure. Around the back, his name just like the front of the box, and the requisite warnings and legal info. We also have a couple of links to their socials, so if you want to follow them and see what they're working on next, you've got a couple of platforms to choose from. As for Two-Face himself, well, I already own a Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face, and I really like it. It's the Zensation one. But by today's standards, he is getting a little bit older. So I'm pretty curious to compare this new Toys Turbo one to that one. I can already see that there are a couple of things I really like here, and there are equally as many things that are a little bit questionable. What we are going to do now, though, is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box, take a closer look at everything he comes with. Starting off with the display base first, it's hexagonal. Up top, we've got this matte finish print of the Batman Forever logo. Then around the front, Two-Face and Batman Forever. But up top, there's a little bit of weirdness. This is an adjustable crotch grabber, but... I've never seen this style of base before, I mean the way this connects to the base is super funky, so I'm pretty sure this is Toys Turbo's own creation. And you know what? If they keep the bases consistent with the rest of their line, totally fine with me. Now we do get two different Two-Face head sculpts, one of which has a devious grin and the other that's more neutral. I personally prefer the one on the right, but totally up to you, you can go with either one. The skin texture is decently well painted, but the red side does look a little bit pink, and the detail comes across a touch smooth. Also, I'm pretty sure his lips are supposed to be black, but I could be wrong. Either way, we will be trying out both head sculpts on the body later on. Two is the name of the game, so we do get two revolvers, one silver and one black, and the molds for both of them, they're identical. We've got some texture for the grip, and you can open up the middle section and it rotates, but... This is unpainted black plastic, and the other one is just plain silver. No bullet detail, and no weathering. This is a little bit peculiar, but his pleather belt is packaged separately. Now, it's just that, a pleather belt with a metal belt buckle, and for me, I'm gonna leave it off, because 9 times out of 10, the first thing to deteriorate on a figure will be a pleather belt. We do also get some teeny tiny accessories. One of them is a gemstone, which is really tricky to hold on camera, because it is that small. And the other is a baggie with two Two-Face coins. Now, in the film, only one side is scratched, but for some reason with the Toys Turbo one, both sides are. Now, you do get two of them, so maybe you can recreate the scene from the end of the movie where Batman flicks a bunch of coins in the air to confuse Two-Face, but... Then again, there were a lot more than two. Now, I like the sculpt work, and they are painted in silver, but really... Only one side should be scratched. And lastly, a full array of hands. Now, they are different from one side to the other, but the gestures, they're the exact same, so you get matching sets. Trigger fingers, open palm hands, closed fists, you know the drill. On the right side, we've got just regular people hands with a decent level of skin texture. They're not super waxy and glossy. Love to see that. And on the other side, these very punk rocker style gloves, and they are fingerless. I dig the metallic paint for the 
knuckles and the back of the hand and down below a velcro strap that's fully sculpted in with some stitching yeah they look like gloves what we are going to do now though is get two face himself out here standing straight up and down in the light box no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that and Toys Turbo, we have a bit of a problem. Now, it's not in the looks department. He looks like Two-Face. I dig the outfit, the tailoring, and the proportions of the body, but his ankle joints are so freaking loose that he literally can't stand on his own. Now, it could be that it's just my copy, and I'm hoping it is, and yours will be perfectly fine, but chances are it won't be, because the body, it feels really cheap and flimsy, and that's what the ankle joints peg into. So that's why he's on his display base. At the very least, he comes with one, so he can still stand one way or another in the collection, but it's not ideal and kind of takes away from the figure, at least in my opinion. Up close and personal, kicking things off with two faces, two faces. I am so sorry, but we genuinely do have two head sculpts to look at, starting off with this one, the more neutral of the two. Now, I was really hoping this head sculpt would be a home run, and it's good, but... It's not perfect. I mean, the likeness to Tommy Lee Jones is there. You know who this is. This is definitely him as Two-Face, but from a technical perspective, the best way i describe it is soft. The skin texture isn't super HD. The scarring on this side looks quite waxy. And unfortunately, you do have a really nasty seam line on this side and on the other, this hairpiece, a huge gap, you can see where it's plugged in. Now, compared back to the Zensation one, I mean, I do think it looks more like Tommy Lee than this one did, but even though the Zensation one is a lot older, the skin texture, the 5 o'clock shadow, the wrinkling, the detail... I think it looks better than the new one. And it's definitely better than this one. I mean, I like what they were trying to do. This expression, like the picture on the front of the box, but to me, it kind of just looks like Nixon as Two-Face. The big nose, that grin. It's really not working for me, so I haven't decided as of yet whether or not I'm going to use this Zensation head sculpt on the new Toys Turbo body, or if I'm just going to stick with a neutral expression Toys Turbo head sculpt, please help me out, let me know which head sculpt you prefer down below. I really don't want to sound like I'm bashing this head sculpt, I'm not. I genuinely like it, but... It does leave a little bit to be desired. I had a really high bar in mind because the Zensation one was excellent for so many years and this one, it kind of let me down just a little. Now his jacket is tailored well. It hugs the body where it should and there's some shoulder pads up top. And you can quite clearly see it's two suits merged into one. One side is black and the other side... I don't even know how to describe this. It's very whimsical. You've got this tiger stripe pattern. You've got more tiger stripe on the lapels, which, by the way, are different shapes from one side to the other. And you also have some speckles of blue and pink on the pockets and also on the lapels. On the underside, you do have the same thing for the lining, whereas on the black one, it's lined with black. His shirt is white on one side and... Leopard print on the other? Where was Joel Schumacher going with this design? I don't know. Then for the tie, split down the middle, leopard print and red. Now the shirt on the yellow side feels good and is nice and smooth, but on the white side it's kind of crinkly and the texture, if you want to call it that, or weave, is a little bit too big, at least for my liking. So it does come across slightly big and bulky. We don't really have to spend long here at all because the pants, they're done in the same style as the jacket. Tiger stripe on one side and just straight up black on the other. We do have different designs from one side to the other for the shoes. On the right, we've got brogues and this one, I don't even know how to describe this. It's all kinds of wacky. We've got, I guess, steel capped dress shoes and some more silver around the back plus some studs around the heel as well. On the underside, some sculpted tread. Now, it's worth noting that I don't have him wearing the belt because I'm worried about pleather belts. Always have been, always will be. But maybe if you did have him wearing the belt, the pants wouldn't be as baggy as they currently look like they are. Also, there is a proper working button on the jacket, so if you wanted to 
you could do it up. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, on the left, Toys Turbo, and on the right, Zensation. If you're sitting there thinking, whoa, Zensation, he's a tall boy. Yeah, he is now, but stock, he would be the same height as Toys Turbo. His stock body, unfortunately, just disintegrated over time. So to have him displayable in the collection, I had to swap the body. That's why he's so much taller. Now, there are certain things like the head sculpt and also the style of fabric sensation used that I prefer on the right, but there are other things like the proportions and the shoes and the cut of the suit that I prefer with Toys Turbo, so right now I'm really struggling to pick my favourite. Next up, Zensation's Riddler, and for now, he's the only one six scale Jim Carrey Riddler, but there is a third party one coming, hopefully in the near future, so I can replace this guy in the collection. He still works though, he is shorter than Two Face, and unlike the Zensation Two Face, he is on his stock body. Do they work well together? Yeah, I think they do. Now, this is interesting. Honestly, probably one of the main reasons why you're actually sitting here watching this review, does Toys Turbo Two-Face scale and work well with Batman and Robin by Hot Toys from Batman Forever? They're from the same movie, he was one of the key villains in that movie, so short answer, yeah, he absolutely does. He is shorter than Batman, but taller than Robin, so to me at least, the scaling looks fairly accurate. Going over articulation, it's a true type body and a fabric business suit. So putting two and two together for Two-Face, I am so sorry, we can already tell the articulation is going to be pretty decent. Starting off with the head sculpt, a fixed neck with a ball joint at the bottom, looking forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side. The arms will go up to there, going forward and back on soft ratchets, butterfly joint at the shoulder that hinges up and down. Which is a good thing, because seeing as though the jacket doesn't have a ton of padding, if you want to bulk him up a little, you can simply push up the shoulders and get the job done. Swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow going past 90, then a ratcheted hinge and swivel for the wrist peg. The torso will crunch forward and back, swivel and pivot. The legs will go forward to there, going out to there, swivel at the upper thigh double bend at the knee going pretty much the full way, and for the ankle, a double wall peg going forward and back, swivel, and giving you a little bit of pivot as well. Wrapping up on Toys Turbo Batman Forever Two-Face. I'm a 90s kid, so as soon as someone says Turbo and Toys together, yeah, my mind literally goes to Power Rangers Turbo. I'm trying to keep the theme song out of my head, but currently I'm failing. Nevertheless, that has nothing to do with the figure. He's good, He's not great, and he is so far removed from perfect that it's all the way back there in the rearview mirror. Now, it kind of feels like this is a figure that came out maybe three, four, or five years ago. That's the quality level that we have here. The body is cheap and flimsy. He literally can't stand on his own because his ankles are super loose. The tailoring is quite baggy, but... Then again, that does get a pass, because, you know, this movie was from back in the day, so maybe the tailoring wouldn't be as sharp as it is nowadays. I like the print on the fabric, I like the revolvers and the shoes, but those head sculpts, they leave just a little bit to be desired. Now, if this guy was the only Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face, then okay, he wins by default, but... He's not. We also had the Zensation one. So factoring in that one, if you can find him, or if you already have him, I reckon his head sculpt is a little bit better. Now, neither of them are 100%, but at the same time, the quality of the paint applications on that head sculpt edged this one out, in my opinion, ever so slightly. If you don't have that one, though, go right ahead, get this one. He's absolutely going to work with Sonar Suit Batman and Robin and the eventual third-party Riddler in your Batman Forever display. Now, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Do bear in mind, this is an unlicensed, unofficial figure made by Toys Turbo. Go Toys Turbo, go. nope. If you are heading down to the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.